billionaire technology magnate Elon Musk has revealed the giant rocket he hopes will take man to the moon and Mars. Scheduled to blast off from Cape Canaveral on the same pad as the Saturn V Apollo 11 moon rocket on its first unmanned mission next month, Musk has boasted it will have double the thrust of the next largest rocket in use. He also says it will carry his own Tesla Roadster, which will be sent flying towards Mars. Scroll down for video. Today Musk also tweeted an incredible image of people next to a landed rocket to give an idea of the scale of the machines. He said Falcon Heavy launching from same at NASA pad is the Saturn V Apollo 11 moon rocket. It was 50% higher thrust with 5 F1 engines at 7.5 mpf. I love that rocket so much. He also confirmed the rocket will have a max thrust at liftoff is 5.1 million pounds or 2,300 metric tons, adding the first mission will run at 92%. Falcon Heavy to launch next month from Apollo 11 pad at the Cape. We'll have double thrust of next largest rocket. Guaranteed to be exciting, one way or another, Musk originally posted. However, some reports have claimed Musk's plan to launch a Tesla Roadster to Mars next month blaring David Bowie on the stereo may not be all it seems. Musk, 46, made the announcement via Twitter earlier this month, telling his followers the first flight of the SpaceX Falcon Heavy, will blast off from Cape Canaveral, site of the historic Apollo 11 mission with his car on board. However, he has since told The Verge he totally made it up, although insiders say the plan is actually real. However, the site says a person familiar with the matter told The Verge Saturday evening that the payload is in fact real. Payload will be my midnight cherry Tesla Roadster playing Space Oddity. destination is Mars orbit. We'll be in deep space for a billion years or so if it doesn't blow up on ascent. He later said the car was chosen as a red car for a red planet. The mission marks SpaceX's most ambitious project to date. Musk founded SpaceX in 2002, with the aim of reducing space transportation costs and enabling the colonization of Mars. The 46-year-old South African is also the CEO of Tesla, and predicts Falcon Heavy's payload will stay in deep space for a while. Although the public announcement shoots for next month, the date is not set in stone with the ambitious CEO known for getting ahead of himself and periodically missing release dates. Earlier last week SpaceX said it had delayed the launch of its giant Falcon Heavy rocket until 2018. The firm said it was still on course to test the rocket in a static fire trial this year. However, in an email to Aviation Week, SpaceX President Gwen Shotwell revealed the delay, which now appears to have been overruled by Musk. We wanted to fly heavy this year, she wrote. We should be able to static fire this year and fly a couple of weeks right after that.
The static fire test will be the first time that all of Heavy's 27 Merlin engines will be fired at once. The vast rocket, which is ultimately three Falcon 9 rockets linked together, will have the combined thrust to eventually launch 140,000 pounds, 63,500 kilograms, of cargo into orbit. And if all goes well there, Falcon Heavy should be ready for launch within the first few weeks of 2018. SpaceX is poised to move launches of its single-core Falcon 9 rockets to Pad 40 at neighboring Cape Canaveral Air Force Station, beginning with a December. Eight flight descent cargo to the International Space Station freeing up Pad 39A for final upgrades and outfitting to support the Falcon Heavy, according to Spaceflight Now. Last month, Musk unveiled the 2017 Tesla Roadster, billed as the fastest production car ever made. The $200,000, £151,000, sports car an updated version of Tesla's first production vehicle, can seat four and travel 620 miles, 1,000 kilometers, on a single charge, a new record for an electric vehicle. The car, which also features a removable glass roof, can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour, 0 to 100 kilometers per hour, in 1.9 seconds and has a top speed over 250 miles per hour. 400 kilometers per hour. SpaceX has been working on the Falcon Heavy rocket for years, and announced this fall that work to build an even bigger rocket that will be capable of transporting humans to Mars was already underway. Musk, who aspires to colonize the Red Planet in the coming decade wants to land at least two of the spacecraft on Mars by 2022, according to CNN. SpaceX is revolutionizing the aerospace industry over the past 15 years, driving costs down in the industry while at the same time developing technology that can blast out of the atmosphere and then come back down to Earth. Traditionally. Rockets that have been launched into space are used just once and are left to burn up in the atmosphere after a mission.